Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sherman's Bully Barn. Today, we got a special treat for you guys. We're gonna show you guys how to get that glamour shot. Okay guys, so when we're talking about a glamour shot, what do we mean? We're talking about that front stack picture of your dog that just shows all the beautiful bully features that we love when you see a nice dog posted up, promoted well. Every time you scroll by that picture, you're just like, ah, oh, gosh, he's gorgeous pretty looking phenomenal you know showing off those great features and characteristics that's what your job is as a promoter now guys today we have casino here we're going to show you guys i've had a lot of people asking about this hey can you can you make a video showing how to take a picture well when it comes to promotion guys front stacks are one of the most important things and then if you can get yourself in front of the camera you know be a little vulnerable it doesn't matter if you know everything we're always learning something new guys and that's what this is all about that's what I'm teaching you guys today, okay? How to get that glamour shot. So that front shot, right? You want fronts looking nice and pretty, okay? You want that chest spread. You want to show a little drop chest, okay? You want that head to be, you want the ears perked up. You want that head looking great, a little tilt to it, either side, you know, down, whatever. You guys get what I'm saying, and we're going to show you guys that today. So we're super excited to bring you this. Casino! Casino! So we're about to show you guys that picture that can grab a lot of people's attention. Come on, big boy. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Get. Oh, good boy. Oh, no. He's been eating treats, so he's a little slobbery. So I'm going to grab that towel, make sure his face is clean. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to show you guys the easiest way possible. All right. So. When doing this, you're gonna find a slope in the ground. If you guys look behind me here, this ground right here slopes down, all right? So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the dog's front end on top of the hill, and you're gonna have trial and error with this. You're gonna get better at it, okay? So, if a dog has a little bit of a higher rear when the dog's relaxed, because that's just how some dogs are, right? They're relaxed, they're not stacked up, they're not squatting at all, they're not really trying to hit a great stack, right? That that side stack doesn't matter when you're looking at the front, the front stack of the dog on these glamour shots, okay? So, you're gonna find a hill, you're gonna put the dog's rear end down the hill. And I'm gonna I'm about to show you guys real quick. Come on, casino. Come here. Ugh. Okay, so you're gonna fix the fronts, adjust the fronts how you need to. All right. Some dogs will stay put, like Twix, guys. We can, I wanted to use Casino today just to show you guys. Plus he's our new addition, so I'm super stoked for you guys to see some of him. Y'all have seen a lot of Twix, but. So, what we're gonna do is you stack the dog, okay? You get the fronts on top of that hill, how you like them, grab by the elbows if you can, okay? And you're gonna take the elbows and you're gonna peel them out a little bit and that's gonna open up those, open up his chest and make it nice and wide, all right? Next, you're going to adjust the legs to the side, just a hair, cause you wanna get a little booty in that picture, okay? Next, you're gonna grab something to get the dog's attention. You're gonna try to get out of the way, okay? And you're gonna toss it. That's it right there, guys. So you're gonna do that over and over again, okay? Just like this bag of treats here, watch, okay? You didn't do it? Mm -mm. Okay? He's being lazy right now. But guys, that's, that's what your job is to do. Whoever's in, the, whoever has the camera, or whoever's behind the camera, if you have more help, if you have three people, get the dog's attention. Ready, you want it? Go get it. Right there, guys, that's it, okay? Some dogs will actually, like Twix, I can set up Twix and I can say stay, and then I can go lay down and I can throw something or wiggle my feet behind me or whatever, and he'll give me that look that I want. You know, that's what we're getting at. Trying to get that dog to perk up. That's your goal. So you can get that mean mug, beautiful shot that you're looking for, okay? Now, like I said, guys, you're putting the feet on the front, on top of that hill, 
you're gonna set the butt to the side a little bit either side it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how far back the legs are okay because all that matters is that front shot okay that's it you want your camera down low guys and you'll see it when you're looking in the camera lens we're gonna use an iPhone today we use the camera a lot of times but we're gonna use an iPhone just to show you guys the shot that we get of him okay and you want you'll see it in the camera what you like and what you're trying to show everyone that's what you're looking for in that lens you got to have an eye for it too so when you're down there okay you may have to tilt the phone down a little bit you may come down a little bit here you may have to lay down all the way it just depends on what angle you're trying to get and what you like lighting wise right now we have beautiful overcast okay so you don't have shadows but if you've got sun that's up real high in, in the mid part of the day around two or three o'clock, you're gonna have a lot of shadow under the dog. That's fine, not a big deal. But if you really want those amazing shots early in the morning, overcast with a little bit of sun shining through or later in the evening is gonna be your best bet, okay? But like I said, guys, that's all it is. Front's up on top of the hill, a little bit of a slope, okay? It doesn't matter if it's in a driveway, it doesn't matter where it is, okay? You just need a little bit of a slope. And also, when you put that dog on the hill, when it's uphill, they have to lean forward a little bit to compensate. And it's almost like a perspective tool. If you've ever taken a picture and messed with the perspective a little bit and lean the top of the picture forward or backward, that's kind of that same effect when you put the dog's fronts on top of the hill in a higher spot. That dog will overstack and lean forward a little bit. That's gonna give an impression of a little bit of a bigger head. The dog's gonna look real bully, okay? That's what you're looking for. So that's how you get the glamour shot, guys. Another quick tip, guys, is when the dog's on the higher portion of this hill here, all right, it slopes downward. When you put the legs back, you set them to the side so you can get a little booty in that shot. It's gonna make that dog, it's an illusion. It's gonna make that dog appear wider. Also, it makes the dog appear to have a sloping top line even though you're not looking from a side profile because the rear end is down the hill. And it's just a real aesthetic pose and great picture to get. We're gonna show you what we got at the casino and that is exactly how you take a glamour shot, guys. So get out there, get to work, practice your glamour shots, do your best on promoting, and I wish you guys the best. Feel free to follow us on Instagram at bully.barn.b. My number is 405-568-6846. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you have any other video topic ideas that you guys want to talk about, you guys have a good one.